What the heck is this supposed to be? There's a human hand coming out of the ground over there. Oh, what the oh, f oh, is that? Oh, hey! Who the f are you? What's up guys, I'm Old Sarge. Welcome back to another epic late night adventure. Today I am joined here with my homie, oh my gosh, Yay. TV over here. His link is down below. Today we are actually at this abandoned amusement park. And the owner of the amusement park is crazy enough to give us permission to film here. And he's standing beside me right here. None other than Sons of Arkham. What is going on? And guys, he's got a really cool YouTube channel where he literally poops on people. So <laughs> you might want to go. You might want to go and check him out. His link is down below. He's giving us full access to his amusement park today. Everything is abandoned. Apparently, it's haunted. I'll tell you guys the haunted story about this place later on throughout the video. But what do you guys say? We go and explore this video. Go show Omar and go show Sons of Arkham some love. Their links are going to be down below. Let's get it. Okay, guys, the adventure begins. I'm going to split off from Omar and sons of arkham because i want to show you guys something really creepy it's been a long time since we've done a late night overnight adventure like this one here and look at this there are abandoned bumper cars scattered around this entire amusement park and the cool thing about this place is that we don't even have the risk of getting in trouble for being here because Sons of Arkham literally owns this place. So do not come here, do not try to break in, do not try to vandalize because he does have security outside. They will shoot you if you try to break in. He does have cameras. A little while ago, some people came here, they graffitied and vandalized this place. They got caught, they went to jail. So don't come here and try to break into this place um, because you will get in trouble. And I don't want any of you guys getting in trouble. I want you guys to watch these adventures from my eyes and experience all the fun from my camera right here so you know what you guys won't get in trouble but if i ever get in trouble then so be it bumper cars everywhere i haven't seen one of this in a very very long time this is so cool i've never been to an abandoned theme park that actually had bumper cars i'm told there are a lot of rattlesnakes on this property the dude that owns this place told us that and he said be very careful um there are rattlesnakes scorpions black widows we are somewhere in San Diego, somewhere in California, near the desert. So it makes sense that all these creatures are gonna be here. And you guys know I've been dying to find myself a freaking rattlesnake, a live one at least, so I can show it to you guys on camera and maybe try to catch it and examine it and study on camera in a safe way. So I'm gonna keep my eyes wide open and I'm kind of on my nerve now because I do not want to get bit by no rattlesnake. So this abandoned spot does have a haunted history to it. And what the hell is that thing? That looks like a bone. That's creepy. This place does have a, a haunted history to it because apparently a kid drowned in the pool here a long time ago and died. I wanna find that pool. So believe it or not, this abandoned amusement park actually has a second name and it's called Clown Town. A while ago, probably about a year ago, this little house over here, which I'm gonna be going inside, I hope, used to be, have used to have a really big sign that said Clown Town up there, but then the city made them take it down for some reason. And apparently some kids came here recently and vandalized this place, which is a shame. I really hate it when people vandalize locations. I'm kind of on nerve right now because I know there's gonna be rattlesnakes hiding in places like this. Look, there's a big giant beetle at the end of that. And usually snakes and stuff hide behind objects Ugh. let's go inside and find out see what's in there hopefully no snakes oh I cannot go in here okay I'm gonna go around the building and see if I can find an entrance 
to the back of the building from there. Also keeping an eye out for these damn rattlesnakes because snakes do come out at nighttime to feast. Um, look at this. More go-karts. There's actually a go-kart track here that's abandoned as well, which I will be showing it to you guys. Ooh, I'm terrified. If I hear a rattle, I'm either going to freak out. Like, come on, you guys know me. In the videos, I always say if I find a rattlesnake, I'm literally going to pick it up and play with it. Let's see if I do find one this time. Let's see if most Sarji runs away or most Sarji actually is a man of his word and picks it up. Whoa, what was that? That could have been the wind. I think something fell off the tree. That was creepy. It sounded like something literally took a step run in front of me. I cannot wait to show you guys the roller coaster. There's a roller coaster here on the property somewhere. Oh! Shit, shit, shit. What the fuck was that? What was that? Something just bit me. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't know if it was some type of insect, but literally felt like something pinched my, my thigh. Okay. Get your wits, Mo. Look at this, it's a freaking Ferris wheel. Oh my goodness. It's an abandoned Ferris wheel. How cool is that? You guys probably already saw it in the cinematics, but look at this. What the f I feel like I'm being stalked right now. Hello? I don't know about you, but I have a feeling I'm going to be pranked. I'll have a feeling someone's going to jump up at me any minute now. I'm going to keep my eyes wide open. I literally feel like somebody's stalking me because I, I got really good ears, man. And Omar disappeared and the other guy disappeared and the other guy's a prankster. He does YouTube pranks. So, if someone does come at me, I'm going to blind it with my bright ass flashlight. Hello? Anyone here? Let me just be honest with you, man. I just have Mexican food. If you jump up on me, I'm gonna my pants. Straight the fuck up. I had a burrito and I'm not afraid to use it. I legit feel like someone's trying to creep up on me right now. I just know it. I know it when someone's trying to prank me. I feel like I'm being pranked right now. <sighs> so now I gotta keep an eye out for someone trying to scare me. And then I gotta keep an eye out for rattlesnakes, scorpions, ghosts, demons. Top my boy that piece of shit. Whoa, what's in here? This is so cool. There's that noise again. Shit, man. Shit. All right, forget it. If somebody jumps up at me, I'm gonna knock them out. I don't care if it is a prank. I don't like it when people jump scare me because it just like gives me a heart attack, man. My heart is fragile, okay? Whoa, look at this, you guys. What the heck is this supposed to be? I gotta be careful, there could be like rattlesnakes living underneath this thing. Now this is creepy. Very, very creepy. All right, moving along throughout this abandoned and super duper scary amusement park. Trying not to get killed by rattlesnakes over here. I'm trying to keep my wits about. I have no clue where Omar is. He better not be trying to prank me at all. What is this? Oh, 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 what the hell? What the fuck is that supposed to be? A skull? Whose idea of a joke is this? It's obviously not a real skull, you guys. Are there snakes in here? There's a hand! What the hell? 
Look! There's a human hand. There's a human hand coming out of the ground over there. Okay. All right. Okay, I, I'm getting pranked here right now. I, I know I'm getting pranked. No way in hell. No way in hell. Look at all these carriages. I thought I seen a light over there. Hiding behind the roller coaster. I find it very funny that I haven't seen Omar since I started my video. Like it's dark out, he would have his flashlights on just like I would. And I can't, what the f is that noise? I can't see him. And I can't find him. He might be trying to get me back. So the fact that I can't find Omar anywhere, it means homeboy's trying to prank me. I don't know how, I don't know where he is. I don't see his light anywhere. But look at what I just found. I just found evidence of Clown Town. Right there. Creepy clown on the wall right there. Shit, man. This place is no joke. It's literally scary. I just heard movement. Oh, look, there's a light over there. Is that Omar? I see a light over there by the roller coaster. There it is again. Right there. I think that's Omar over there. So, let's find out. Whoa. All right. So far, all good. Okay, that's Omar over there with the light. But where's the other guy? I'm not joking. I have this like tingling in me. Like I know when someone's trying to freaking prank me. Or freaking sneak up on me and scare me. I'm not gonna let it happen. The scale this roller coaster track. How many of you guys can say you've walked on a roller coaster track? Not many, but most RG has. But hopefully I can do it safely without breaking anything, I hope. So for those of you that don't know, I have been traveling. Oh my God, look at that. Another freaking hand. Plastic, that's what I seen at the, uh, that other place. Yeah, bro. So. That is Omar over there. Look at this, guys. So somebody came here recently and they totally destroyed this place. Not like destroyed it in like destruction, but like they just graffitied everything here. Okay, so I was gonna ask you, what? which one of you guys was messing with me? What do you mean? I was over there by the clown town uh -huh. and I can hear footsteps like somebody walk, walking behind me. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. It could have been Dan, he was, he was taking off. I can't find him though. I was with him back over there. He was doing some maintenance work. I was saying like you're trying to prank me or something, but... Nah, bro, I was way over there on the other side. <laughs> bro, this place is too scary to get pranked yeah. in, man. It's... You know the story about the lifeguard? No, tell me about it. I know a little bit of it, but tell me about so, it. So there's a pool over there where a lifeguard drowned trying to save somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the stories I heard. Then there's one where he just drowned. Yeah. And he's the one that haunts this entire amusement park. Bro, bro, I kid you not, I got this on camera. Uh -huh. I was walking by the Ferris wheel. I thought I heard a footstep behind me and something pinched my freaking leg. I freaked out. I pinched thought it was a rattlesnake leg. or something. Maybe it was a boy. Is he known for pinching legs? I, I don't know. He's not a leg pincher? No. What's he into, like, type of fetish? I mean, I didn't, last time I was here, I didn't, I mean, I heard noises and I seen things. Yeah. Does but, he? Oh, I did bring a spirit box. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. We're gonna use it in the little house up front. Which house? There's a white house up front. We might make maybe a separate video there. Okay, so there's apparently there's a house that I did not know about. Yeah, Faze Rug actually went in it, and uh, Brandon went in there. Broadus and Faze Rug went in there? Uh-huh. <gasps> and they were scared. Okay, this is this is getting good. We might make a separate video there, because this place is massive. It's big. It's yeah, massive. so there's lots to explore still here. Hey, um, Dan was also telling me that there is a Pennywise sewer. A what? Yeah, they. I think it was from last year or whatever. There's a, a Pennywise sewer that they have on the property. Really? Hey, come check. You want to see something real creepy? Come check this out. Bro, I just heard something walking over there. Be careful with snakes. Yeah, that's what's worrying me right now. Rattlesnakes. Come check something creepy. Is this a setup or a prank or what? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, what's that in your pocket? Spirit box. Oh, that's a spirit box? Okay. Yeah. I told you I'm not leaving. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So the pool... I want to see, man, it's, it's changed so much, man. 
Last huh? time I was here, there was a bunch of graves and all kinds of weird things over here. It's all overgrown. Yeah. Oh, look, there are graves here. Where? Look. Yeah. Check this out, you guys. There's graves here. At an abandoned amusement park. I don't listen, bro. I'm not trusting anyone right now because your buddy's a prankster, and you're a former prankster, and I'm a former prankster, and I feel like something's just gonna jump out at me right now. Well, I mean, things might jump out at you. Man, I, I can't handle this. Shit. I'm actually going crazy right now. What is this place? Look at it. Whoa. Look at all this. Guys, keep your eyes wide open. Let me know in the comments below if you guys spot anything out of the ordinary. Oh, there's something moving over there. There's literally something moving over there. Yeah, so I was saying to my fans on the on the video uh -huh. that if someone jumps up to scare me right now, it's not a good idea. Huh? No, like if someone does jump up to scare me, I just have Mexican food and I'm gonna sh my pants. Like, no no joke. Who come and, comes and visits? Who comes and visits? The lifeguard. He's the this, one that haunts this area. Where's the pool though? It's right there in front of us. It's just grown. It's all overgrown though. There's all, it's all, it has like stuff in it. No way. Can you go over there? Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. I'll take a look. So there's the lifeguard chair here, but where's the pool? Did they maybe like plug the pool up or something? Whoa, what the f was that? Hey, you want to go in this building over here? Um. No, this is the house. No, this isn't, this isn't the house. Oh, I know what this is. That's like a. That could be like a bathroom for like a pool or something. <sighs> Man, I'm on my nerves. I heard something walking over there. Oh, there's the sign up there. So Scott is scared for that. Okay. There's also a sign over there that says I need some but you know there's a pool over there I see it right there let's keep walking I'm actually trying to stay away from Omar on purpose because I don't know I just have a bad feeling look at this a giant spider look at this spider that's a big spider can you guys tell me what kind of spider this is probably have sand spurs in California too bro look at this oh. that's a big one that's another look for a spider. <laughs> yeah, it's a spider. I'm guessing that was the pool yeah, there. Where it's deep. Yeah, it's all overgrown. Yeah. You can't even tell anymore. Whoa, 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 what, what? Something just spooked those birds. You don't, you know me, I don't get scared of creatures, but damn, shit be, shit be poisonous out here. They'd be poisonous, look at that. That's not how it was. It was open? Yeah. Why is it sealed up now? Yeah, it looks like somebody Oh shit, that looks scary as hell. <laughs> Bro, I just heard something walking inside. Whoa, there's something in here. Yeah. Could be some animals. Dan told me that they saw. <laughs> What was that, bro? Who are you? Bro, what the f was that? Is that your friend? I don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is. Is that you, man? I'm coming in. Rest in peace, Omar. Everybody comment below. Come with me, bro. Oh, come with you. Rest in peace, Omar and Mo. Rest in peace to the both of us. Wait, hey, hey, wait, wait. Are these bathrooms connected? No. Shit, I was gonna go that way and you were gonna go that way and we could have like given him a clown sandwich. That was a clown, wasn't it? Yeah. It looked like a clown. Shit, we could have sandwiched this that. This is called Clown Town. And what are the odds of a clown being here right now? Oh, look, he's gone. He's gone? Hey, buddy. I know you're here messing with us. 
What the hell was that? Bro, I'm freaking out right now, man. This shit, I'm freaking out. Come here, bro. <sighs> Open that door right there. Is there anybody in there? I ain't opened up no door. I can see through the window. There's nobody in there. He's gone. Hey, man, quit clowning around. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> oh, man. Eh? Right, right. right. What the fuck, bro? That's you, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Hey! Who the fuck you? That's Dan. I, I don't even care. Is that Dan? That's scared, bro. Chill the fuck out. Oh, that is Dan. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Yo, where did you get that outfit? Oh, my God. I thought you were leaving. <laughs> I had to get you. <sighs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, dude. You scared like I legit. I have a little bacon strip in my underwear right now. Yo, yo, hold the, hold this camera. Hold, hold this camera. That Mexican, that Mexican food coming out. Oh. That Mexican food coming out. That, yo, that was awesome. You know what's funny is dude. Mo was saying like, "Hey, I, I hope nobody nobody's gonna pop out at me and stuff." Because literally, I am surrounded by pranksters, and I hate pranksters. I used to be a prankster. Omar used to be a prankster. The man here is a prankster. He shits on people. I did not know he clowns on them too. But that's yo yo shout shout out to Dude, you, bro. That, that was, was good. Amazing. That's such an awesome hey, outfit. So funny? I knew about it too. <laughs> what? <laughs> I knew about it. Whoa! What the <laughs> fuck? Yo, did I not tell you guys I had a feeling? The whole time, I was like, I had a feeling. I had a Were you following me around Clown Town over there? No, I came over here and unlocked. So who the heck Dude, grabbed me? Was, Something that, grabbed me over that there. That was legit. Whatever you had going on. <laughs> no. You know, that happened over here. The time. Over here on the uh, opposite side of the park. Something grabbed me over there by the first wheel, like by the leg. Bro, that that is, oh <laughs> that my is god, crazy. oh my god, dude. You should, yeah, we can call it even now. <laughs> yeah. So a long a while, I think about a year ago, Omar came to see me in Canada. He came right out of the airport. I took him straight to Slender Man's Forest. It was Forest. right in August. It was right, right before in, you Right got in married. August. I'm like, yo, we're gonna go to. It was two days before my wedding. Yep. Or one day. Uh, I can't. Remember. One or two days before my wedding last year, um, I took Omar to Slender Man's Forest. I'm like, yo, let's go film a video. I actually had Danny dress up. Kind of like Slender Man. It was like more like a ghetto Slender Man. <laughs> scared the poop scary. out of this guy. Yeah, he was scary. running. He was fast. And you guys saw that. <laughs> wow, good job, boys. Honestly, that's a good job. You know what? Ever since that, I don't think I can run that fast anymore. Is this place actually like haunted though? It really is haunted. Yeah. Okay, so that, right over there, that's where the pool is. Yeah, the, that's where the, the pool, pool is. Oh, I, I want to do a spirit box session over there. Let's do it. All right, yeah. So before we go to the pool, I do want to explore this abandoned um, facility over here. Hopefully, there's no more clouds in there. <laughs> Truth to be told, I'm actually trying to find a good clean toilet so I can like wipe the shit off my ass because I literally pooped my pants. Like I said, I had Mexican food. And you know Mexican food, it's yummy, but you gotta run straight to the toilet after. Oh, this is creepy as hell, you guys. I cannot believe that, see, I knew it. I knew Omar was lying. I, I, I told you guys, I had it for guys. You can't get one up on Mo Sarji. Mo Sarji always knows when there's danger around. In my case, Omar and his friend were clowning me. Anyways, moving along. It's time to go and explore more of this place. Like there's a lot left behind. There's also like a couple of haunted houses on the property that are legit said to be haunted. And we're gonna be doing separate videos there. So we're giving you guys so much content. Like this is insane. I I'm in love with this. So Omar and I are gonna do a spirit box reading on the lifeguard chair. Apparently the kid, the lifeguard um, that died here a long time ago, is attached to this haunted chair over here. So hopefully we can get him or get something on camera. That'd be very interesting if we do. You should set that thing right on the chair. What is your name? Hello, we're looking for a lifeguard that used to work here and died here. Are you here? It's gonna do one. This is like two spirit boxes. Oh, so you're going with two frequencies? Oh, that came in clear. I couldn't hear what it said. So, what's, what's your name again? We're looking for the spirit of the lifeguard. Are you here? Ooh. Hello? 
Ooh, it started moving. It was moving? Yeah, the spirit box was moving. I didn't see it move. What's your name? Hey, we just want to communicate with you. What's your name? What year did you die? Oh, May? I heard May. <gasps> hey. Hello, my name is Mo Sarji and this is Omar Gosh TV. We want to communicate with you. Oh, sure. Sound like that did sound like a sure. Can you tell us how you died here? Did you drown in this pool? Did you used to actually sit on this chair? I heard something say there's people. 40. 40? Yeah. How many ghosts haunt this property? Seven? We're getting something, but it's not clear. We got something. I don't know if it's a lifeguard or other ghosts um, yeah. around here. Keep in mind, this place is super ancient. Oh, this is the pool. Yeah. This is where they drowned. Do you think it was a deep pool? It doesn't, doesn't look very deep. No. I there's, could be wrong though. There's the concrete. Me and Omar are no strangers to water slides. We've done so many. There's like spider tra There's like spider traps everywhere. There's literally spider wires everywhere. It's like a booby trap. This thing is really soft. It's like vinyl. Yeah? Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. I don't think so because it's not on actual stilts, it's on the actual ground. Yeah. So I think we'll be fine, I hope. Hey, you know what this is bringing me back to? Huh? Remember we went to that abandoned water park? The haunted one in Florida? And then we went down like this ginormous water slide on trees. Yeah, that was cool. It's very long! <laughs> <laughs> Made it up to the top of the slide. Nothing much to see here. It's all darkness, spiders, and creepy crawlies. The hell was that? I'm gonna make it back down right now and uh, hopefully we find some more things to explore. Guys, look. I just stepped over. A black widow black spider widow right spider. there. You literally just almost stepped on that thing. Wow. That is a black widow. It's got the red on the bottom. Oh I'm my still god. Just on this right here. Holy shit, dude. There's probably more of them here. If you don't know what a black widow is, it's the most poisonous spider in the world. There it is. Look at that. The chances are they probably didn't go down this slide. Holy shit. That thing is so cool. Guys, there's somebody hiding in the bush over there with a flashlight on. I don't know who it is. But they're hiding over there. See, look. But there is something. Yo, turn off your light for a sec. Turn off your light. They're hiding there in the bush with their flashlight on. Behind the fence. So they're not on the property, but they're, they've got a bright flashlight. Yeah, they turned it off too. Oh no, it's on now. See, see, there it is. Yeah, that's that's them. There's somebody with a flashlight. It's like a standoff right now. You think it's Dan? No, he didn't have a flashlight with him. No, he didn't. And why would he be over there? Oh, oh, they're, they're getting closer. What's up? Good. Oh yeah? They're trying to jump in. They're trying to break in. And we just stopped that. They're right there. There they are. They're leaving right now. So, our friend Dan that owns this place, he's been having troubles with people. Yeah, he was asking how we got in. People have been coming here and vandalizing and graffitiing his property. This place is an active place. Like, it's an abandoned looking place, but it's an active place for Halloween time. And people have been literally vandalizing it. Time to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. Big shout out to Omar. Big shout out to Sons of Arkham for um, allowing me to be here and film here. It was a really cool, cool video. Um, let me know if you guys spotted something haunted in the background. They attempted to prank me. I had a feeling the whole time. So was it r really a prank, you know? I did get scared though. I did get scared. Come on. A freaking guy in an egg clown scared the shit out of me. Anyway, smash the like button. I hope you guys have been enjoying these adventures here in California. Let me know if you guys want more of me and Omar. Hashtag Team Omar in the comments below. And don't forget to get yourself some new Live a Little Area 51 edition merch. We are planning on going to Area 51 while we're out here. Um, I just don't know when I'm going to be dropping the video. I might actually have already dropped the video. I have no idea. 
but the links for that is down below show some support the new merch says team mo sarji and it says area in area 51 invader and there's a top secret right there a badge also the lel brand which is my brand in the middle of that guys make sure when you're buying merch i see a lot of you guys buying new live a little merch but I'm not selling that merch. You guys are buying merch from imposters and a lot of you guys aren't getting your merch in the mail because you're literally buying from scammers. You're getting scammed. And I keep saying this, only buy merch from my link. So it saves you guys from losing money because you're gonna buy merch from scammers and you you actually don't end up getting any of your merch, which is uh, a no bueno. On that note, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to come say hi on my Instagram. Spam me on Instagram. I want you guys to come and hang out on my Instagram all night long i want you guys to spam my instagram i'm going to be replying to some of your dms your comments um on my recent posts so i love you guys from the bottom of my heart don't forget to be you do you stay positive and just live a little i'll see you guys later